This is what we have for this experiment. To assemble the device, you need to seal the 150 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with the provided rubber stopper. Then connect the syringe to the rubber stopper. Make sure there is enough air inside the syringe. Turn the well into the open position. Use your finger to seal the end of the plastic tubing. Immerse the flask and the rubber stopper completely in the water. Then push down the plunger of the syringe. If there is a leak, you should see bubbles coming out. Double click the Logger Pro icon to open the software. Look at the top left corner. No device connected. To connect the device, click Experiment. Then move your mouse to Connect Interface, Lab Pro, COM1. Then click. Look at the top left corner. A device is just connected. To connect the pressure sensor, push the connector into a slot on the logger Pro. You should hear a click. Connect the Tempera Pro to another slot on the logger Pro in a similar fashion. If the pressure sensor and the Tempera probe are connected properly, you should see them on the computer screen. To check the pressure sensor, Pull the plunger of a syringe, then connect the syringe to the pressure sensor. If the pressure sensor is working properly, you should see a pressure screen, increase so when you push down the plunger. The pressure yes. in the pressure goes up. You can check the temperature probe by holding it with your finger or hand. Set up data collection. Click Experiment. Move the mouse to data collection, then click. On the pop-up menu, change the duration to 30 minutes. Change the sampling rate to 60 samples per minute, then click Done. To start data collection, click Collect. To change the way the temperature is displayed, double-click any number of the x-axis on the temperature display panel. On the pop-up menu, click Axis option. Change the scaling to auto scale. You can also change the y-axis. Click Done to apply the changes. Use a similar method. You can also change the way the pressure is displayed. Turn off the wheel. Record your data in your notebook immediately. Take the Erlenmeyer flask and the rubber stop assembly out of the hot water. Take some hot water out and put it into a separate beaker.
put the aluminum flask and the rubber stop assembly back. Add some ice to the hot water. You want to have about 20 degrees Celsius decrease. Give your best estimate about how much ice you should add. It seems we do not have enough water, so we need to add some hot water back to get the flask immersed. After the temperature becomes constant for a few minutes, record your data in your notebook. We need to lower the temperature for another 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. We just need to repeat what we did a moment ago.
we need to lower the temperature for another 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. We just need to repeat what we did. The stir bar stopped working. To fix it, we need to turn off the stirrer and then turn it on again. We need to lower the temperature for another 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. We just need to repeat what we did. To save your data, click File, Export as, CSV, then click. On the pop-up menu, give your file a name. Then click Save. 